Hello friends, good morning. I'm here again with the another features in the purchase module. Every supplier has a two, one or two type of the products. We want to automate our managing processes. So that's how we create blanket orders features. This feature helps to grow multiple purchases. And of course, it's receive a discount from the vendors. Rather than creating a multiple orders, just use this blanket orders for the multiple deliveries. So if you have a number of repeating orders for the same items, blanket order is the best way to use these features and make them simple. So we're gonna see how we can use a blanket order in our Flector database. So I'm gonna go on the Flector database. So here I am again with the Flector database. I'm going to go on the purchase module. So I'm going to configurations and there is a purchase agreement times. I'm going to click on that. So we have a two types of purchase agreement. Previously, we already talked about the call for tenders. Let's go on the blanket orders. If I'm added on that, we have the agreement type, which is blanket orders. We have the agreement selection type. It would be the RFQ, just only one. For, and we have the select for the multiple RFQ. As we select for the multiple RFQ, that's what we required for. And of course, the line, the use of the line agreements, we are going to use over here for the demo because we do not use the create line just automatically. And for the quantities, I would like to, or when I create a purchase order, I would like to set quantities manually so that's how we have the settings and we're gonna save it so we backed we're gonna see how in orders for the purchase agreement so I'm gonna create a purchase order agreements we need to select first the you know the agreement type so we need to make sure about the blanket orders for the vendor I would select for the Azure interior okay here i'm selecting azure interiors we need to select a vendor azure interiors to have a deal a really good deal about the discount he is offering me so i need to select before the time that i need to purchase before the time to make that deal properly so i'm going to select on this vendors we have the agreement deadline so before the time that so i'm going to select for as a month select on that so i'm going to add a product over here so that product would be the office chair okay i'm going to select an office chair i'm going to select the quantities for this so um, let's say the quantity would be the 30 and the unit price uh, would be 9.99 dollars yeah it's, it is really good too so let's save it so once i save it the draft has been already created and now what i have to see is this going to confirm on that so once i confirm on that purchase order is on ongoing so now i'm creating a quotations from that there is a new quotations if i select on the new quotations i need to check on the draft of the quotation the vendor is the azure interiors and i need to select the product over here but as you can see the quantity is zero so i need to see that which quantity how many quantities actually i want to order on that so let's say i want right now the 10 quantities to order on that so i'm gonna save this so once i save this it will be directly the rfq on that and i'm gonna confirm this order with this azure interior product so i'm going to confirm as this is directly confirm the purchase order so i'm going to directly go on the back menu of the blanket order as you can see the rfq has an already generated we can see that how the number of rsq were generated so i'm going to go on add it i'm going to see the products i need to ch check the product type once i click on the product office chair it shows me the num you know the same vendor if i'm talking about this vendor azure interiors i'm going on the purchase and they can see that azure interiors already over there with the price of the 55 and the delivery quantity would be the seven so that's how actually we can see the same number of vendors with a different price that's how we can see that prices has been changed the number of deal has been created so yeah that's how we can see that product so let's go back on the blanket order as you can see the number of quantities has now is updated before it was 30 quantities we offer that an order of quantity would be 10 
that we have a really good price they are offering for the discount so that's how we can create it on that if we go on the rfq and orders we can see the number of orders purchase order is there so that's how our source document would be the uh, blanket order b double zero to the one if i'm clicking on that i can see the purchase order with the vendor azure interface that's how very simple you can see that and the receivable quantity build you can directly create a bill after that and it's very easy that's how you can manage the blanket order with the number of multiple quantities in time and you don't need to create every time a new quotations that's how you can create and that if you am go on the purchase agreement menu as you can see the blanket order has been created an agreement deadline would be within the 28 days so they offer us with this discount deal in 28 days and the status is ongoing if once i confirm on that it will directly say okay the quotation has been created i must confirm so that's how you can create a blanket order over here see you for the next video bye bye